Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to see the loss of biodiversity. So, if you know IUCN, that is International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. IUCN stands for International Union International Union of Conservation of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources of Nature and Natural Resources. So IUCN Red List in 2004 documents the extinction of 784 species in the last 500 years. That includes 349, 359 invertebrates, 338 vertebrates and 87 plants. Some of the animals that have become extinct in recent times are still a sea cow, dodo, a bird from Mauritius, thylacin, quagga, and three subspecies of Triger, Bali, Javan, and Caspian. Right, amphibians are recognized as more vulnerable for extinction. At present, the percentage of threat of extinction among organisms is given below 31% of gymnosperms, 32% of amphibians, to amphibians 12% of void species and 23% of mammals. <clears throat> so this is the record listed by International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Now if we see how the loss of biodiversity in a region what, uh, causes, uh, what, is, what are the impact of loss of biodiversity? Loss of biodiversity in a region can lead to the following decrease in plant production, lowered resistance to environmental perturbation, increased variability in ecosystem. Pro in ecosystem processes like water use, pest or disease cycle. We'll understand this in the upcoming slide with more clearly with examples. So if you see cause of biodiversity loss, what are the causes for the loss of biodiversity? First is the destruction of habitats. Destruction of habitats is basically what habitat destruction is a very serious threat to the wildlife. It is primary cause of extinction. This is the main primary cause, primary cause for extinction of species. Right? The Amazon's rainforest, also known as the lungs of the planet, harboring probably millions of species, is being cut and cleared for cultivating soya beans. So this Amazon uh, forest, which is also known as lungs of the planet, uh, they uh, this forest is also uh, this this forest is also you know being cut and cleared for the cultivation of soya bean. So this habitat destruction is leading to one of the major or primary cause of biodiversity loss. This is destroyed. Destruction of habitat is mainly by the human activities, which includes deforestation, cutting down of trees. Developmental work. Developmental work means what? What is developmental work here? The various developmental works like roads, railways, industries, mines, human settlements, dams, reservoirs, etc. have reduced the natural habitats of wildlife. Have reduced what? Natural habitats of wildlife. So developmental work for roads, right? Construction works. Now the third is the habitat fragmentation now what is habitat fragmentation habitat fragmentation is basically large habitats are broken into small fragments large habitats are broken into small fragments large habitats are broken into small fragments it reduces core area and increase age area mammals and birds require large territories so if habitat fragmentation, if we destroy the large habitats, that also causes the loss of biodiversity. Coming to overexploitation, what, what is overexploitation? It is basically hunting of animals for food, safety and pleasure, right? It is, uh, you can say, uh, large scale destructions of wildlife occurred with use of fire as a means of hunting. Excessive hunting has causes the extinction of cheetah, cheetah right? And also the extinction of the bird known as Dodo bird, which is a bird, a unique bird of Mauritius, right? Now, introduction of exotic species. 
exotic species uh, on becoming invasive is considered as another potent factor that means what if this is a area here if this is a area this is a say river here now here there is no any other other organisms present let's say due to some accidental result or some uh, because of some reason here introduce here are present some water hyacinth this is what we call water hyacinth this is a foreign this is not native of india right this is foreign so what it will do this water hyacinth the reproduction they reproduce by asexual they undergo asexual reproduction and their reproduction is very high so this will reproduce and start it spreading in the whole lake after some time what we will see that this will float and over the river which blocks the sunlight which blocks the sunlight as a result what happen underwater species which underwater species they do not get the required level of sunlight and also they do not get the required level of dissolved oxygen and which leads to the death of the species right we will see this with examples coextinction coextinction of coeval species which are related to in obligatory we'll see this in our upcoming slides so if we talk about destruction of habitats what is destruction of habitats now destruction of habitat is the primary cause let me write here this is the primary cause for loss of biodiversity this is the primary cause for the loss of biodiversity right now once if you see the record once covering of more than 14% of earth's land surface of earth's land of earth's land surface now cover no more than 6% once it uh, the habitats or once you can say uh, the biodiversity covers what more than 40% of earth land surface now it has been reduced to now it's reduced to what how much not more than 6% not more then 6% right so the amazon rainforest also known as lungs of the planet which harbor probably millions of species is being cut and cleared for cultivation one such example is amazon amazon rainforest amazon rainforest which is known as lungs of the planet which is known as lungs of the planet right which which you can say harbors which harbors probably millions of species millions of species is being cut and cleared is being cut and cleared for the cultivation of soybean for the cultivation of soya beans right and some other human activities uh, that has led to the destruction of habitat if we discuss if we see some human activities that causes that causes what destruction of habitats are that causes destruction of that causes destruction of habitats are if you see this number 1 what is that deforestation what is deforestation yes deforestation is basically cutting down of trees cutting down of trees right cutting down of trees what it do as a result 
the habitat if 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 you see the forestation deprives the wildlife of its cover and food because it reduces the area of their free movement right if this is a area initially if this much area has all plants these are all plants say all plants now if you clear if you do cutting cutting of trees as a result what happened you see only this particular land is present rest is cut down so if you see the area if you see here this is the entire area present for this species entire area present for this species now here this particular no trees here you can see no trees now what we can see here we can see that reduced area here area got reduced area got reduced for the free movement for the free movement leading to loss of habitats food food loss yes so this is one of the prime activity that is deforestation second is developmental work if you see second second is what developmental work what is developmental work the various developmental works like construction of construction construction of roads right construction of roads railways industries road railways industries mines dams mines dams right croplands etc that also re result in the less reduced area resulting in the habitat loss and the resource loss third is the third is one third is basically what habitat fragmentation what is habitat fragmentation third is habitat fragmentation what is habitat fragmentation habitat fragmentation is basically large habitats large habitats are broken into small fragments large habitats are broken into small large habitats are broken into small fragments what it do it reduces core area it reduces core area and increase edge area and increase edge area yes this also affected this affected basically migratory birds this affected migratory birds right mammals etc mammals etc right that's all we have discussed about the destruction of habitat now next we will see over exploitation second let's discuss over exploitation What is over exploitation? Over exploitation means what? Hunting of animals in a large scale. Large scale destruction of large scale destruction of wildlife due to hunting. Is what over exploitation, right? Excessive hunt, the excessive hunting has already caused the extinction of excessive hunting 
excessive hunting has caused the disappearance of excessive hunting has caused the disappearance of cheetah do do bird this is h okay do do bird a bird a unique bird of morasius right so etc so this is what is the over exploitation next third is what is the third reason third reason is what invasive species introduction of introduction of exotic species what is that exotic species exotic means exotic means what this exotic means foreign foreign species non native you can also call it non native or also call it alien species right this is introduction so sometimes what happen if i talk about say this is a river here this is a river lake or river now what will happen initially there is no foreign species here right now what happen after some time because of some you see you see we use some ships for you know uh, for cargo carriage yes or no so because of some accidental purpose here what happen is suppose here introduced one plant here we call it water hyacinth right now this water hyacinth it is a small piece of plant right what it will do this has got a good capacity of asexual reproduction right and in reproduction is very fast so what it will do after some time it, it this got introduced accidentally got say this got introduced accidentally agar if say if a sheep is present here suppose a sheep which is present say this is a sheep here right it is carrying the it is it is transferring goods from transferring goods and by accidentally this this got introduced accidentally with that sheep now after some time what will you see this this plant will start reproducing very fast asexual reproduction not require any partner right so it will start reproducing very fast so what will you see after some time after some time you will see that this plant will start it covering the entire lake you see this is covering the entire lake click what you have seen entire lake covered by the exotic species so what will happen as the entire lake got covered by the exotic species this you can say this you see now if sunlight if this is a sun here this sunlight cannot pass it blocks the sunlight what it do it blocks the sunlight and dissolved oxygen so what will happen underwater species underwater species like phytoplankton fishes like phyto plankton zoo plankton right fishes do not get required sunlight do not get required sunlight and oxygen leading to death of species right so that is how introduction of exotic species has what is uh, has reduced the biodiversity example let me write the example here example you can consider water hyacinth water hyacinth lantana camara right which is also known as parthenium hysterophorus yes african catfish african 
catfish right this is her, this is how introduction of exotic species has lead to the loss of biodiversity next we will see coextinction what is coextinction 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 is basically what coextinction is basically what extinction of coevolved species lead to the extinction extinction of coevolved species now what do you mean by coevolved species suppose this is a plant here see this is a leaf here right now there is a insect which always say this is there is a insect here now what is doing this insect eats only this insect feed insect is feeding leaves or insect is eating the leaves insect is insect is eating the leaves now what will happen this is the only source of food for this insect after some time if you see after some time you see if this these plants develop some strategies some strategy for defense so that these insect do not eat what it will do it will also start it will this insect will also develop certain defense mechanism right say these are certain defense mechanism so if that means what i am telling to what i want to say is that say this is the insect which is eating this leaf now this leaf has to protect itself from this insect yes or no so after some time this leaf will start it you secreting some chemicals or it will start its defense mechanism to stop this insect eating this leaves right now what insect will do coevolve i am trying to explain the meaning of coevolve here what this insect will do this insect also undergo modification also undergo modification as per the defense mechanism of the leaf as per the defense mechanism of the leaves say for example say for example this leaves has started developing thorns now what as a defense mechanism what this leaves are doing leaves are doing they have started developing thorns now what is insect will do this insect will start another mechanism which will start which will start what destroying this thorns which will start destroying the thorns right because this insect is completely dependent on this leaf if leaf undergo some strategy for defense say for example some thorns it develop what insect will do insect will also undergo modification as per the defense mechanism of the leaves say suppose it has leaves has introduced certain thorns what this insect will do it will start it will start some mechanism or some enzymes that started destroying the thorns right that is what we call coevolve that is what we call this process we call coevolve now if this leaf by any chance because of habitat loss or because of excessive deforestation say this this leaf is extinct if this leaf is extinct then what about this insect the insect the insect which is feeding only this leaf the insect which is feeding or which is eating the leaves which is the which is only dependent on this leaf will also extinct will also extinct yes or no yes why because there is no food to eat for this insect there is no food to eat for this insect clear so this is how one if one species is extinct the other organisms which is dependent on that particular species will also what will also go for extinction and that is what we call coextinction am i clear this coex coextinction is very important that is it it is basically for those which it is basically for those which are coevolved which are mainly what this uh, exotic species on becoming invasive is considered uh, sorry this uh, uh, sorry 
this coextinction is basically what it is basically for the extinction of co-evolved species right which are related in a obligatory way right this is one of the example of coextinction i think uh, you got the point if you have any doubt please feel free to ask with this i would like to end up the class for today's session next we will be discussing about the conservation strategies how do we conserve these species what are the different conservation strategies thank you so much students for joining this session